Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show, a real estate investment program. Listen and learn how to use real estate to build wealth and passive income streams for you and your family. We bring you experts every day to discuss and answer your questions on everything from single family homes all the way up to 600 plus unit apartment complexes. And now, the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. I'm going to say something that's going to burst your bubble. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in one of those moods today where, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to the end of this year because I'm to be honest with you, just happy to get 2020 in the rearview mirror. You know, uh, it has been a very, very weird year. I mean, and, and, and I've been on this planet for 56 years. Some of you have been on longer. Some of you have been shorter. But I think we can all agree that there has not been a year in our lifetimes that has been as bizarre as 2020 has been. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, let me do this for y'all. I'm going to open up the phone lines today. Like I said, I'm in, I'm in kind of a weird mood. So I'm kind of interested in what you are thinking with regards to the future. You know, what is, what is 2021 have in store for you? Are you doing the things that you need to do in order to be prepared for 2021? Tell you what, give me a call. The, the call in number is 855-497-4335. Again, that's 855-497-4335. I'm, I'm genuinely interested in hearing your thoughts about, you know, what's going to happen in 2021. So I was looking through the the internet you know i there's there's a lot of good information out there. there's a lot of bad information out there too you have to you have to call through it and one of the things i stumbled across was the the concept that you're going to probably fail at and 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 man that sounded really negative and i don't mean to be negative what i'm getting at is this in about 10 days we're going to celebrate new year's eve now however you choose to do it is however you choose to do it for for me it's it's usually like well i, I would watch the ball drop you know in in new york but i don't think they're allowing anybody to do that this year and, and to be honest with you i'm usually asleep before new year's hit so i'm just looking to put it in the books but one of the things that you'll probably do in 10 days that you'll ultimately fail at because u.s news and world reports specifically says that 80% of the New Year's resolutions that you make will fail by February. Yeah, I, I guess they went out and they did some research on it. So that's my point. You're going to make some New Year's resolutions and 80% of them are going to fail. And what I want to get into a discussion of today, not not only you know what you think is going to happen in 2021, because I'll be honest with you, it has to get better. It does have to get better. So many people have been impacted by the craziness of the the pandemic and, you know, the lockdowns. And, you know, there, there are people that want you to wear masks. There are people that don't want to wear masks. You know, there are people that think that that infringes on your civil liberties. And, you know, it's it's the conversations that I find myself getting in are just weird. They're really weird because these are not conversations that at the beginning of this year, I thought, I was going to have <laughs> never, never hit my radar. Not until like March when everything just started quickly shutting down. And, you know, we were told to, to stay at home with social distance and yada, yada, yada. Well, at the beginning of the year, or I should say this time last year, I had no idea that we were going to experience what we experienced. What I'm going to talk about is the concept that you have to get focused. Don't just make New Year's resolutions because it's it's the the chic thing to do. It's it's the fad thing to do. You know, hey, in the new year, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. Well, you know what? If if you're going to make that an objective, 
something that you're going to strive for, in other words, a goal you're going to set, you actually have to sit down and you have to formulate a plan to help you get there. You know, trust me, I've lost weight before. You've lost weight before. We, we've probably gained it all back. But if, if you're going to go down that path, in order to be successful, you have to create the plan that helps you get there. And I think setting goals is a very, very important thing for you to do. To be honest with you, I think setting goals is something that you need to not only do, but you need to continually remind yourself of the goals that you're working on. And then the things that you do in life have to be all interconnected to help you achieve those goals. Where you work, they probably have some kind of goal setting mechanism. You know, maybe it's a, a target to achieve a certain amount of revenue. Maybe it's a target to manufacture a certain number of things. Maybe it's a, a target to grow the company by X percent. And whatever they set the, for those goals, they, they sit down and they work on a detailed plan that allows them to measure their success as they move towards those goals. And if they need to modify those goals, that's okay. They've, they've got raw data that they're working with to do that. But what about you? Have, have you taken the time to sit down and actually formulate a game plan for yourself? Where do you want to be in the next 90 days? Where do you want to be in the next year? How about in the next five years? What if one of your goals was to be retired in the next five years? Could you achieve it? I'm here to tell you you can, but you got to put the infrastructure in place to support that goal. More on that when we come back. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Now, let's get back to your map to financial freedom. Welcome back to the show. So if you'd like to call in and have a conversation with me, I'd love to have you. And, and what I'm kind of interested in talking about is what are you planning to do for 2021? Have you, have you sat down and organized your thoughts and have you figured out what the path going forward is for you. I'm just kind of curious. And if you want to call in, the number is 855-497-4335. Again, that's 855-497-4335. Or if you prefer, you can always send me an email at askal at luinc.com. That email address again is askal, A-S-K-A-L, at luinc for Lifestyles Unlimited Incorporated dot com. Shoot me an email. I get emails uh, periodically from you, and and I love hearing from you. I really do. Um, I'll communicate directly with you. I don't have people that do that for me. You know, I know other people do business a little bit differently, but that's that's not me. That's not how I roll. I'm genuinely interested in what you have to say. So I'm looking at some of America's top New Year's resolutions they're considering making. And ironically, these resolutions, and, and again, I just, I just picked something off the internet uh, that because you can find all kinds of stuff out there. But I thought it was pretty interesting that 51% of the respondents to this statista, I went to their website and they basically have a list of what they considered to be the top New Year's resolutions for 2020. Yeah, I'm going back a year. And 51% of their respondents said to manage their finances better. 51% to, said to eat healthier. 50% be, said be more active. 42% said lose weight. 38% said improve mental well-being, 30% improve social connections, 22% said learn a new skill, and 22% said be more economic or eco-friendly, I should say, not economically, but eco-friendly. And it's, it's an interesting 
roll up of what Americans were projecting for 2020. Now, ironically, I don't see anything on this particular list that says, you know, start on the process towards retirement. Yeah, it's 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 not really there. I mean, I guess you could say manage finances better. That that could be, you know, a a good goal. But if you had any of those goals that you laid out last year for 2020, were you able to achieve those goals? Did you keep those goals in front of you so that you were focused on those goals, so that you were reminded that that was where you're trying to get to? And did you build a plan to aid you with moving down the path to achieving that goal? I mean, that's, that is very important. Hey, I'll tell you what, let me do this for you. There is a book out there that if you haven't read it, I think you need to read it. It's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And it's written by Stephen Covey. And in that book, I'm, I'm going to share with you just, just an excerpt of that book because I, I think it's very powerful. I think it goes a great distance to reinforce what I'm trying to tell you with regards to, you know, figuring out the direction your your life is going to go in in 2021. And don't just make goals that are like, oh, I feel good about myself. I made a goal. If you make a goal, you need to work on achieving it. And let, let me just let me just tell you what Stephen Covey says. He says the word paradigm comes from the Greek. It was originally a scientific term and is more commonly used today to mean a model, theory, perception, assumption, or frame of reference. In the more general sense, it's the way we see the world, not in terms of our visual sense of sight, but in terms of perceiving, understanding, interpreting. For our purposes, a simple way to understand paradigm is to see them as maps. We all know that the map is not the territory. A map is simply an explanation of certain aspects of the territory. That's exactly what a paradigm is. It is a theory, an explanation, or model of something else. Suppose you wanted to arrive at a specific location in central Chicago. A street map of the city would be a great help to you in reaching that destination. But suppose you were given the wrong map. Through a printing error, the map labeled Chicago was actually a map of Detroit. Can you see the frustration and the ineffectiveness of trying to reach your destination? You might work on your behavior. I mean, you could try harder, be more diligent, double your speed, but your efforts would only succeed in getting you to the wrong place faster. You might work on your attitude. You could think more positively. You still wouldn't get to the right place, but perhaps you wouldn't care. Your attitude would be so positive, you'd be happy wherever you were. The point is this you'd still be lost. The fundamental problem has nothing to do with your behavior or your attitude. It has everything to do with having a wrong map. If you had the right map of Chicago, then diligence becomes important. And when you encounter frustrating obstacles along the way, attitude can make a real difference. But the first and most important requirement is the accuracy of the map. Each of us has many, many maps in our heads which can be divided into two main categories, maps of the way things are, or realities, and maps of the way things should be, or values. We interpret everything we experience through these mental maps. We seldom question their accuracy. We're usually even unaware that we have them. We simply assume that the way we see things is the way they really are or the way they should be. Kind of deep stuff, but I'll tell you what, I think Covey does a good job of explaining the fact that you have to be following a proper map. And those maps are very important and vital to you achieving the goals and objectives that you set out for yourself. Now, I'll tell you what, when I became a member of Lifestyles Unlimited, one of the first goals that I laid out for myself was a five-year goal. I wanted to achieve retirement within five years of becoming a member. And by setting that goal and following a correct map, I was able to achieve it in two years. It's made the world of difference in my life. But if you'd like to call in, 855-497-4335. Back after this. 
Del Wamsley talks about understanding the system. Guy told me the other day on the radio, he says, you know, I understand the system. They let the stock market go up to feed our ego, to think we're getting somewhere, and then they crash it on us and take it all away. So now we're stuck. He says, I've lived through two of those cycles. So he started investing in real estate to get away from the cycle. Are you ready to break the cycle? Start investing in real estate today. Find out how. Join Lifestyles Unlimited. Start with our live online free workshop. Register at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Warning, listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show will change your life. We will teach you how to create wealth and passive income so you can be financially free. And now, back to your host. Welcome back to the show. You know, what I'm talking about today is completely in line with what the big voice just told you. You have to put a frame of reference in your mind. You have to understand where you're trying to get to. And as I pointed out in the last segment, when I, I read that excerpt from Stephen Covey's book, you really need to have a fundamental map that is precise, that can help you get to where you're going. But before you even decide where you're going, you have to think about it. I'm a firm believer that a life best lived is a life that's designed and not by accident or not by just walking through the day, careening from wall to wall and eking out a living or just managing to survive. I think that if you start giving your life dimensions and design and objectives and purpose, the results can be absolutely staggering. It really can. And I'm guessing that you may not sit down and write what your goals are for your personal life. You might be doing it at, at work because that's just part of the work process, but you really need to figure out what you're trying to achieve. You know, setting goals will help you achieve the result of the goal. I mean, it all starts there. You've, you've got to have a target. You've got to figure out where you're, you're trying to get to. It's, it's also an excellent opportunity to design your own future. I mean, where do you want to be in the next 90 days? Where do you want to be in the next year? Where do you want to be in the next five years? You got to sit down and you have to think about these things. And goal setting gives you the chance to experience the power of your imagination. And maybe the, your imagination has been, you know, in a little box in your mind since you were a child. I don't know. But think about it. Imagination, it actually builds cities. It conquers disease. It develops careers. It helps you set up relationships. Imagination is where all the tangible values and intangible values begin. I mean, you really need to sit down and use this powerful resource because it's yours. It's in your head. You, you've got to tap into your imagination because when you do, when you start sitting down and you start thinking about all of the things that you want to accomplish, you create a pathway for yourself. And then when you continue to reinforce those goals and those objectives, the things that you're trying to accomplish, it's going to get you to a place faster than taking no action at all. It really will. I mean, you really need to sit down and think about stuff. I mean, when I was in the Army, we every year, we would work on something called a five-year plan. And without getting into the, the minutia of the five-year plan, it was an understanding of where your unit was to develop towards in five years. And it was based on certain things that the Army was doing uh, for future you know, weapon systems or future vehicle systems or whatever. So along the lines, you would try and forecast what the unit would look like in five years. And then in doing that, you would forecast what the unit needs to do in the upcoming year to prepare for that five-year event. And the real planning went 
along the lines of the 90-day plans. In other words, you, you forecasted out what that unit was going to do over the next 90 days, and, and you continually went back and refined that plan because, you know, time is not static. It, it moves. Time does move. It, it seems like time doesn't move because we're always in it, but we're, we're moving with it. Yeah, I know. Just went there. Sorry. So I think tapping into your imagination for, for setting goals really involves you thinking about your future. Thinking about tomorrow or the rest of the day or thinking about the rest of the year or the next five years or maybe the next 10 years. I would encourage you, I would strongly encourage you to fire up that engine in your mind called your imagination and start designing the future that you want to achieve focused on the possibilities that are out there. And if you're, if let me, let me, let me back up a step. I told you that when I became a member of Lifestyles Unlimited, I, I sat about writing down my goals and objectives. And one of my primary goals and objectives was to generate enough passive income so that that passive income met or exceeded my ordinary expenses. And along that lines, that involved education on how to correctly invest in real estate. It involved having to reposition certain assets that I had owned prior to becoming a member of Lifestyles Unlimited. Yeah, because I was following somebody else's map and it was flawed and it wasn't doing for me what it should have been doing. So part of that five-year plan involved fixing problematic property that I owned because now I understood the correct way to do it. It also involved changing some of my lifestyle habits. In other words, starting to rethink how I spend my money and what I spend my money on and what's important with regards to that money. See, I, I'm a firm believer in you need to have your money working for you or it needs to be ready, willing, and able to deploy on your behalf when an investment opportunity comes up that's going to help you get to that long-term goal. If you just go through the exercise of, oh, well, I'm going to do a New Year's resolution. You know, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to go to the gym. Yeah. The, the reason why those things usually fail is because it's it's kind of flighting. You, you just kind of go, yeah, I kind of want to do it, but the, you don't put any emphasis behind it. You don't reinforce it in your mind. And it just kind of goes away because, you know, at the end of the day, you get back to your busy life and you get focused on other things, and you lose focus of yourself. But don't do that. Don't do that this year. I'll tell you what, when we come back from the break, I'm going to give you the, the seven things that I embrace when I'm goal setting. Stick around. One of the things I'd like to get across is that your whole life you wanted to make a change, right? But you've never had the time? This might be it because we have online education that you can get involved in. We're now going to bring the free workshop to the entire country and really the world. Anybody who is interested can participate in that. We're going to live stream that free workshop and have people online with you on the live stream, talking with you, answering questions, interacting. You're really going to get a great feel for the lifestyles community from this. And you can register for that. So if you want to find out about us, this is a great way to take a look at us and what we do. Lifestyles Unlimited has been helping people succeed since 1990. Join us for our free online real estate workshop and learn the seven principles we teach to run our businesses and provide for our families. Register at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. That's lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. It's time to turn up the volume and fine-tune your passive income plan so you can create the lifestyle you've always wanted. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, you know, he's right. You really need to think about the lifestyle that you've always wanted. I mean, are you, are you living it right now? And, and, and I'm not trying to be flippant or facetious. I'm just saying, is this as good as it gets for you? Or 
Is there a way for you to change your station in life and get to where you're trying to get to? I mean, these, these are, these are concepts that all of our lifestyles and limited members tackle when they become members in our organization. We help them understand the importance of setting goals because you, you can't, you just, you cannot just decide, well, I'm going to invest in real estate without understanding what you're trying to achieve by investing in real estate. I mean, are you trying to change your income streams? Are you trying to grow your wealth? Are you trying to do both? What are you trying to do? And you make your investment decisions based on those goals that you choose to have. Now I'm going to share with you the seven elements that we teach at Lifestyles Unlimited that we believe you need to be focused on when you sit down and write your goals out and you get that imagination working. You start thinking about the possibilities and where you want to be. Now, the first element is spirituality, whatever that means to you. You, you have to have, in our opinion, some understanding of where you are spiritually and where you intend to go. You also need to consider your legacy. See, at one point, you're going to be gone from the planet. It happens to all of us. We, we were not designed to be permanent residents of this planet. So what is your legacy going to be? Are you going to be the person that saved a bunch of money in a retirement account only to live a certain amount of years drawing that money down and basically hoping that you pass away before that money runs out. And then what happens to that money? What's left over? Does it go to your heirs? Does it go to a charity? Where, where does it go? You need to think about that legacy. You're going to leave. You need to think about your family. Family is very important to me. Very, very important. Everything that I do is based on my family. It really is. So you have to take your family into consideration. Even if you have a, a family life that's not necessarily great, you can change that. You can do things to mitigate that and make it better. You need to be focused on growth. And I'm talking about your growth as a person, as an individual. Where, where are you going to get to as a human being? You really need to think about that growth. And along that line, you need to be thinking about financial growth and make your goals specific to your growth. However you choose to grow, you need to consider your health. Yeah. As aging individuals, our bodies later in life are not as resilient as they were earlier in life. That's why, you know, outside of Tom Brady playing in the NFL, most people in their forties don't. Because your, your body wears out over time and it's going to continue to wear out over time. So you have to think about what are you doing to protect your health and what are you doing to prepare for the future with regards to your health? Things you need to think about. You need to think about your wealth. You really do. Because if what you're doing now is not getting you to a place of retirement, then what you're doing is ineffective and it needs to change. And even if you're starting with little or no money, you can start by establishing a goal that is linked to wealth development. Not everybody starts real estate investing with a big bag of money sitting around. Some people do. Not everybody does. We have members that start out with very little, but they learn to reposition their lives. They learn to stop spending money on things that aren't getting them to where they're trying to get to. And they repurpose that money. Now, the last element is fun. There's no reason why you shouldn't have fun in life. And if, if what you're doing for your lifestyle or for your employment isn't fun for you. It's okay to think about what the future would hold for you. I guess where I'm going is that when you 
change the financial position of your life. When you achieve retirement by successfully investing in assets that produce cash flow and use that cash flow to offset your ordinary expenses, you get to a point in your life where you've regained control of your life and more so you decide whether you go back to work. What if you change jobs? Maybe you want to work. There's nothing wrong with that. People, people like working. But what if you change into a job that's more desirable, that, that actually gives you some benefits with relation to fun? You might enjoy what you're doing. And even if it pays less, so what? I'll tell you what, stress, man, that stress thing out there, that, that'll tear you apart. I believe that in the next 10 days, you can sit down and you can formulate some goals. And with those goals, you can articulate objectives to achieve those goals. And you can start making a difference in your life. And the key thing is you, j you just need to sit down and think about where are you trying to get to? Activate that imagination. Where do you want to be in the next five years? Now, if you want to be retired in the next five years, we've got a map that works. Work for me, work for everybody else I know at Lifestyles Unlimited. It's going to take some, some effort on your part. Yeah, we just, we just don't hand you a, a glass of magic elixir and all, all of a sudden your life is magically changed. No, you're going to start in the same place that we all start at the beginning. And one of the first things that we're going to teach you how to do is, is how to define mm -hmm. specific goals so that you can follow the map to financial freedom. It is an absolutely doable thing. You can achieve financial freedom in five years or less. Now, it might take some people a little bit longer. It just depends on where they're starting. It takes other people a lot less. I know a lot of people that when they, they finally sat down and got their lives organized and they started following the financial freedom map that Lifestyles Unlimited presents to its members, as well as all of the ancillary resources that you need to, to really just get going, you can change your life a lot quicker than five years. I know a lot of people that are in the two-year club, but it, it's going to start with you making a decision as to whether or not you're satisfied with where you are in life. You've got about 10 more days in this year to figure it out because 2021 should be the year that you begin to change your life because you understand where you're trying to go and you understand how real estate fits into the picture. And you've been properly educated. You've got a mentor. You've built a team. And you're just going gangbusters. So sit down and figure out what your goals are. Get it done. And remember, it's not the money. It's the lifestyle. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show constitutes an endorsement, recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.